Okay, bali ito yung ating example number 3 dun sa topic nating chain rules. So, we have example number 3. Um, we're going to apply chain rule of differentiation. At the same time, we can apply the quotient rule of differentiation. But since our topic is chain rule, uh, nasagutan ko na to from the previous video. Sasagutan ko uli uh, ito gamit yung chain rule of differentiation natin. Although I have solve this using chain rule of differentiation i'm going to solve this naman in two ways ano okay so hindi ko gagamitin ang quotient rule for this problem so itas natin yung ating um, uh, expression sa denominator so we have y equals 4 2x plus 1 raised to negative 3 so, ito ba yung composite function? And we all know naman, uh, gagamitin lang yung chain rule kapag meron tayong composite function. Hatiin natin siya. We let y is a function of u, therefore, we can write, if this is u, this one, so we have 4u to the negative 3. And we say that u is a function of x, so therefore, u is equal to 2x plus 1. So, kaya naging ganun yung ating function na y equals 4 quantity, 2x plus 1 close quantity to the negative 3. Okay? And this is a composite function, so we're going to apply chain rule of differentiation. Derivative ng outside times derivative ng inside. Gamit yung power rule natin. Or we have, pwedeng ito, no? derivative ng u to the n equal to n u to the n minus 1 times derivative ng outside. Or pwedeng ilagay natin sa ganitong format, derivative of the outside function times derivative of the inside function considering that the composite function is f g of x. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, solve natin to. So, we have dy over dx. Outside muna. Yun yung outside natin. Okay? Negative 3 times 4. Gamit yung power rule of differentiation. Negative 12. Leave natin yung nasa loob. Yung nasa labas lang ating i-operate. Kukunan ng derivative. This, decrease natin ng isa. So, negative 3 minus 1 times derivative ng nasa loob. Yung outside function, uh, inside function. Derivative ng 2x plus 1. We have negative 12, 2x plus 1 to the negative 4. Derivative ng 2x is 2. Derivative ng 1 is 0. So we have dy over dx equal to, ibaba natin, negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. Then ibaba natin to, we, because we have a negative exponent, 2x plus 1, this, that will become positive 4 na. So, ito yung ating sagot. Okay? Okay. Now, gamit naman yung isang method natin. Uh, napaghiwalay ko na sila yung ating composite function. Ito na siya. So, we have to solve for dy over dx, we can apply dy over dx equal to dy over du times du over dx. Okay. So, from here, kunin natin si dy over du. So, y equals 4u to the negative 3. So, dy over du is equal to negative 12u to the negative 4. Diba? Minus 1 kasi. So, ma-add yung kanilang uh, yung negative 3 at negative 1. So, from here naman, kunin natin si du over dx. So, du over dx, derivative ng 2x is 2, derivative ng 1 is 0. Therefore, ang ating dy over dx is equal to dy over du, negative 12, u to the negative 4, times du over dx is 2. Baba natin yung negative exponent. Negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. U to the 
fourth power. And u is 2x plus 1. Therefore, we have negative 24 over u is 2x plus 1 to the fourth power. So we got the same answer. Okay? So, ganun lang po ang um, pag-determine ng derivative of a function or a composite function using chain rule of differentiation. And actually, nakapag-solve ako ng um, marami nito last time. Okay? Thank you.